and soak them in Vaseline. Okay, do that. Okay, probably saying, okay, why would you soak cotton balls in Vaseline? I became aware of this in the bushcrafting community is this is like one of the best ways of making a fire. And I did a little experiment in my classroom because we read Gary Paulson's Hatchet. And it turns out Okay. It actually works fairly well. Except for today. Because sometimes Yeah, sure enough, make a liar out of me. Unless this got somehow got a little bit wet, which I'm not sure if it, it would or not. Let's kind of fluff it up a little bit. Of course, I'm getting all this goo on my fingers, which I don't particularly care for, but. Oh, there it goes, see? And we got our little happy fire. Okay. Okay. Now again, normally I would always have <coughs> a stack of wood the size of pencils. I would put those on top. You know, something about the size of a loaf of bread to get that going. And then a stack of wood size of my thumb. And then bigger for that once we get the fire really roaring. But, you know, oh yeah. Coughlin's brand Ferrocerium Rod. Got it down at Runnings. What's great about this thing is it actually works even when wet. And you can see that black smoke. That's the betulant oils being burned off. And again, I'm not going to make a big, big fire. I'm just going to create this thing here for today. All right, but this here is more for demonstration purposes. You should, in your pack, have some means of starting a fire. Because, again, 98.6 degrees is the magic number for your body temperature. I'm already feeling a little bit of the heat from it now, which is very comforting. And fire may mean the difference between life and death. Especially if you get wet. Again, looking at the sky, that looks like Nimbo Stratus wind north northeast and i know from leaving the house the barometer was falling it was 29 point something and it was starting to fall what does that mean it means we're going to get some wet weather so if somehow you were stuck out here you would have to well guess what create a shelter and make a fire i'm not going to make a shelter but you know i'm going to leave that for another time we're going to do a shelter building video again when I post this up on uh, a particular website that friends in uh, kind of like adopted family, for lack of a better term, are perusing, I, I welcome all of your criticisms because I need, you know, I need feedback. Okay. Well, I'm going to shut this thing off for now. Okay. One thing, my head is getting cold. So, okay. GoPro off.